All right, we're joined now by Jim Luzar to talk about planning your farm's future. And so it's an event they have coming up. Yes, our bi-state group, which is uh, comprised of Illinois and Purdue Extension educators, will be hosting a program next Tuesday uh, evening, 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time at the Beef House Restaurant. And the purpose of the program is to help family farms do a little more planning, a little more uh, evaluation of just what their farm is going to look like in the next coming years. And uh, not just planning for what we're going to plant this spring, but really like who's going to be involved in the management of the ownership of the business in coming years. It can probably be tough to look long form at something like that. Oh, it's very easy to kick the can down the road, so to speak. And uh, <laughs> one client had called and is planning to attend and said, we've been, you know, talking about this and addressing this, but uh, we really need to get serious about it. The average farmer's age is in the, you know, 57, 58, as far as census data. So, you know, a lot of these farmers are baby boomers that are, you know, looking to uh, transition the farm and just how to do it exactly. There's no blueprint out there. So we're going to offer some uh, suggestions, some educational materials about uh, being able to take charge and work with your planning team when you go back home to uh, better assist the planning effort. Well, and this is an event with both Purdue Extension and Illinois Extension, so kind of perfect to bring everyone together. Yes, uh -huh. it's, it's uh, going to be, a, again, not necessarily a state planning program. I've had some people inquiring about is it you know, strictly about you know, planning our estate, but it's more about planning the farm business, about management, about operating agreements, about business structure, those types of topics. All right, let's run down all the, all the info. March 4th. Uh, from 5 to 8.30 Eastern Time, because again, we're going to be right on the uh, state line there. Right. It's $20, which includes dinner at the Beef House restaurant. Yes. Uh -huh. At which everyone loves the Beef House. So, <laughs> so that's perfect. And people can, uh, do they need to pre-register? Uh, they can contact me if they have questions at uh, the contact information presented by the station. And uh, they don't have to pre-register necessarily, but it would help us to get a little better idea. But they can simply send me an email as listed on the uh, Channel 10 information. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jeff. Thank you. News 10 will be right back.